How's it going everyone? Seb here back with another tutorial. This time I'll be showing you how to create a drop shadow in a free version of Canva. Normally this is only available in a paid version, but I'll show you a workaround to get this effect for free. Canva is an online graphic design tool that you can use to make quick graphics for websites, social media or print marketing. I find it useful for social media posts and to make YouTube thumbnails. The drop shadow is a cool effect that helps elements stand out on a page. I'll show you a quick and easy way to achieve this for text, shapes and photos. Firstly, open up a design you want to work on. I'll open up a YouTube thumbnail template because that's what I mainly use it for. For text, simply click on the text or just press T for the shortcut. I'll just type my YouTube channel, learn with Seb and use a solid font so you can see it clearly. I'll also just change the color to red and make it a bit bigger to stand out. Actually, I'll go for the italic versions just so that it stands out a bit more and gives it a bit more motion. Then simply make a copy of the text by clicking copy in the upper right hand menu. Change the color to black or gray. Offset it from the original text and send the layout backwards. I might adjust the positioning slightly. Quick tip, in order to select an element covered by another element, just hold control and left click. Now the text behind it will be selected. Press the arrow keys to move the text one pixel in any direction. Or press shift and arrow keys to move it 10 pixels in any direction. Then you can lower the transparency to a level of your liking. You can also do this with shapes and graphics. Let's take the YouTube logo for example. Make a copy, change the color, send it behind, lower the transparency and you can fine tune the angle. If you select both elements, you can group them together and move it around as I'll do here. You can also add drop shadows to photos. It's the same steps as before, but this time you can blur the photo by clicking adjust and changing the blur setting. I should also turn it black and white before sending it to the back so it looks like a shadow. And there you go. Gives it a bit more elevation on the page. Helps it stand out. I hope you found this video useful and maybe learn some new tips that make your life a tiny bit easier. I'm just going to finish this thumbnail and then publish this video. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.